Well, someone's gonna be very relieved. Not my first thought. What? Des, you're handing it in. Am I though? I thought you'd say that, but... Then why tell me? But hear me out. A friend of mine used to work in London as a road sweeper. One night he found a necklace on the street in Knightsbridge outside a casino. And? And he was persuaded to do the right thing. Turns out it belonged to some hateful homophobe sheep or oligarch or something. Billionaire. Arms dealer, I think. My friend didn't even get a reward. Some poor person is going to be distraught. You want that on your conscience? 50-50. Final offer. <laughs> Fine. Anybody lose a ring? No. Anyone lose a ring? No. Anyone lose a ring? No. Anyone lose a ring? Anyone lose a ring? No. Hang on. Uh, yeah, me. Yeah, I lost one. How come you looked in your bag and not on your finger? Yeah. How come? Because I went swimming on my way here. Oh yeah. Your hair looks amazing. Does it? Yeah. Okay, fine. Can you describe the ring? I'm sorry about all this. We just really want to find the ring's rightful owner. Don't we, Des? It's a round cut white flash Tiffany bed set, 3.5 carats. That's the one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Can I see that? Why? Because it sounds like a wedding ring. You're not the husband. Fiance. No, we just met on Tinder. Oops. You sneaky little trump. Excuse me. Why take your ring off? Because I didn't want you knowing I was engaged. Wouldn't have bothered me. Really? Now it does. Shit. See ya. Come on, Des. You make me sick. What's it to you? What, are you all mad Christians or something? You're worse than an arms dealer. 